It's that time of the year, back to school, meaning that it's back to reality. And if you are anything like me, you must be anxious, okay? And scared out of your mind because you know what? A new year means that there's going to be new challenges, new obstacles to conquer. Afrikaans again, math for another year again. <laughs> but you know what? You've come to the right place because in this very video, I'm going to give you guys five effective tips to help you start the year strong, okay? So that you can be able to attain those great distinctions that you've always been wanting. And be sure to watch until the end for the last tip as that is the most crucial tip. So watch until the end. Clap back, clap back, clap back, clap back, clap back, clap back. I got time today, I'm finna clap back, clap back. My earliest memory of going back to school as a small little kid was actually going stationary shopping. Like, I don't know if y'all remember those days as a small little Ntwana, you know, you'd be excited to be like, oh, I'm gonna go get this and this stationery, you know, for my arts and craft, or I'm gonna go and get this math book, the quad, quad something A4, you know, those ones with the margins that are crossing like that you know it was always a bit exciting because you know you're getting new things you know and it's the start of a year you know so finally your pencil case can be full okay because at the end of the year your pencil case is empty like people have borrowed your pens they've lost them you know you've lost them yourself so you know what it's always nice to see your stationary bag finally being full again so i just know that it can be exciting which is why the first tip of this video is for you to get the stationery that you need but also the stationery that you want you know so get that aesthetic stationery okay because it's gonna help you to be excited to actually study to actually want to like go through your work and go through your notes because maybe you may be like a creative type of a person that you can maybe like draw and be very like decorative you know in your mind maps in how you study you know now before i carry on i haven't introduced myself i am kukano aka clapback studies and welcome to the channel that is all about leveling up in your studies and helping one another you know for us to reach our dreams our aspirations through academics and education i know guys it's been a while i'm so sorry i know you know my life got a bit busy you know being in varsity and all it can get a bit hectic but i promise that i'm gonna be very consistent in this very first term but i am back now you feel me the clap back you know we're gonna clap back on them studies because they've been disrespecting us you feel me so be expectant for videos on thursdays at 3 p.m every single thursday i will be posting a video for you to you know progress and level up and then on sundays as always i will be posting the sunday night motivation you feel me to give you some words of inspiration to get into your week motivated feeling like the boss you know feeling like the a student that you really are <laughs> but for now let's get back into the original video now i don't know if you guys can relate i'm sure you actually can i don't know why i said i don't know but i know you do know that i know that the start of the year is always hectic we're thinking like it's tough because a lot of things are happening you know whether you are in grade 8 or grade 12 but a lot is happening right you're getting new uniform you're getting new books you're getting assigned to a new class maybe you even moving to a new high school right or maybe you're coming from primary into actual high school so it can be a lot of frenzy environment you know but you need to stay sane okay you need to have a clear head and the only way you can do that is by being as organized as possible okay like and the way for you to actually stay as organized as possible is for you to actually have like a planner or maybe a calendar right so you can maybe have your calendar and jot down when are you going to be writing tests when are assignments due right of course when that information is made available to you but sometimes i know with the teachers that i've um schooled with they would normally like tell us that okay at the start like you guys are going to have an assignment this year that it's probably going to be due uh, around end of february or something right so you can already start diarizing those dates and seeing when you can start doing them right because you want to be on top of your things you want to be as accurate as possible okay even with a simple thing as homework guys homework is important guys homework is literally how you are able to see 
whether you understand the work or not, right? So if you're struggling with your homework, then you can know that, okay, ma'am, I actually need to go to my teacher and ask for more help and assistance. You feel me? So if you're not doing your homework, if you want to do it last minute or you want to cheat, like that's not going to help you. Like actually do the homework as best as you can so that you can see that you understand it. And the bonus tip that goes perfectly along with the second tip is that you should have a dedicated study area, guys. Like this is so crucial and a lot of you don't think it's as important but so it's just so crucial for you to actually just have that one desk or that table you know that you can just use to always study over there right and your brain is going to get used to it that when you are sitting on this desk you're sitting upright you're not on your phone you're not going to be chatting to anybody like you're not playing games you're actually focused and your brain is going to get used to that if maybe you don't have a desk in your house, you know, maybe go and study at the school library, right? Have the school library as your dedicated area that when you're in the school library, you're gonna be working, right? And you can start studying in there and doing your homeworks in there instead of doing your homework at home, right? Because maybe you don't have a desk, which is totally understandable. And one thing that has helped me combat those fears, right? That it's very challenging and it's very hard is by setting attainable goals. There's, there's nothing better than setting those goals Goals. You know that you can always be like thinking about and being like, okay, this is very hard, but I want to get that 80%. I want to get that 90%. You feel me? It literally makes you want to wake up at 4 a.m. Maybe you're not even a morning person, but then you are waking up at 4 a.m. studying because you're just thinking about that goal and you're like, I want it, right? Whether that's like an 80%, a 90%, or maybe that's even a 60%. You feel me? We are all different. Remember that, right? And you have to set the goals for it to be attainable. Hence, it's an attainable goal, right? So you can't be moving from being a 50% student to jumping all the way to becoming a 90% student, you know, like that is highly impossible. I don't like using the word impossible, but you know what? You kind of have to be realistic with yourself. You feel me? So if last year you were getting 50% in mathematics, then this year aim for maybe 65%, 69%, right? And then progress gradually right or maybe you can even progress throughout the terms right be like term one i want to achieve 65 percent term two maybe let's push to 69 percent term three 70 percent you know and you just keep moving just like that right because it's gradually um that you're gonna progress and you're gonna get the goals that you want so for some of you that are special you may be starting at a new school right maybe you're moving from grade seven to eight or you were in a previous high school and you're moving to another high school, or maybe you are still in the same high school, but you're meeting new teachers because one teacher was not teaching grade eights and nines, they're teaching grade tens and elevens, you know? So there's new faces that you're gonna be seeing in the classrooms, which is why it is so important, and I stress it a lot, that you make your first impressions count, right? Make sure that when you are meeting that new teacher, that that first impression is gonna be long lasting. And to be perfectly honest with you, like, you know, the minute that you're showing your teacher that you are invested and you're interested is the more your teacher will want to like be invested in you, right? Of course, a teacher has the obligation to teach every single student, of course, but the minute that you show more interest, then your teacher will be like willing to take off like five minutes from their break time to quickly just show you this sum again, right? You you can even like go to your teacher and be like, ma'am Ish, can I just get a few minutes after school, right? With you just so that you can show me this example or you can show me how I was supposed to write this essay, right? And just help me so that I can level up, right? I can get better grades and I am promise, I promise you, okay? Your teacher will be like interested and willing to be like, okay, it's fine, it's got the ball. I'll help you out here and there, right? Um, let's make it for Thursday or something right i don't know i'm speaking in that accent but anyway uh, my point is that um what you give is like what you also get like that's how it is in life in everywhere but literally your first impressions they really count not even just like it towards your teachers but also towards your fellow students okay i've even seen it in varsity okay like literally when i was there in like um the first few weeks of school and like i was engaging in class asking questions you know like answering things that like a lot of students found very challenging you know like actually like participating 
participating and being active in the lecture like it even like made me get attracted to the smarter students right because i'm telling you varsity there's so many smart students in your lecture hall so like you're not the only one that's actually like a top student you feel me so the minute that you also show like that you're interested and you're willing to work hard and you're like engaging in class and stuff like that even other students will see like okay no this one is very smart oh kuklana that sits over there hmm, he's very smart i should actually talk to him you know and then you'll end up seeing that oh you're actually making friends with like the right people you know the people that you can actually like have like study sessions with that whenever like you're struggling you can just call this person and be like ish dude i'm really struggling with this and this can you please help me out right and they're willing to help you out because you know what you've shown that you are interested and you are invested in your academics you feel me so now we've reached the last tip which is very crucial but a lot of you may have overlooked it and thought like what's so important about this right but before i give you that tip i've got a crucial question to ask guys who has ever actually sorry raise your hand if you have ever been afraid to ask a dumb question i, I don't know i don't know about y'all i don't know about y'all but like i've i've yeah i've been afraid i've been afraid to ask a dumb question <laughs> and i'm sure you guys have also been afraid to ask like a dumb question you know a question uh, that you deem as dumb but sometimes it's actually not even dumb <laughs> And I'm going to be honest with you guys, okay? I'm not going to be like one of those teachers that say there's no such a thing as a dumb question. Hey, Joe, hey, some questions are dumb, okay? Like, you're just hearing like, and like, what is this person asking? You feel me? But it's okay to ask such questions. Like, it's so much okay because it means that you're trying to actually understand what's going on, okay? Like, because most of the time, like, a dumb question arises when you are like just discombobulated. Like, you don't understand what your teacher is talking about and that was me in physics you know like a lot of the times the teacher would be teaching something new um in the i don't know like maybe magnets when we're learning about the i forgot what is it the north and south pole like the thing that attracts the the magnets and stuff like that and i'd just be so confused i'd be like what do you mean that like there's a force in between this thing, you know, and then I'd raise my hand and ask a question that is deemed a bit dumb because, you know, the, my fellow classmates will be looking at me weird. Some will be chuckling at the back, you know, being like, what, what is he asking, <laughs> you know, but it's okay to ask such questions, right? It means that you just don't understand, right? And that should already be like a warning signal in your head that you know what it means that i don't understand this it means that i need to pay more attention into whatever the teacher is learning i need to go back home do more research do more reading into the topic and above all else asking for help guys ask for help you know like raise that hand and ask for help you feel me because sometimes yes you may have asked a, a, a dumb question right but it's only because you actually don't understand so what's best is that you actually ask your teacher maybe for like um, a side consult, you know, I'm using professional words, a side consult, um, like maybe when the class is working, you know, and it's time to work maybe 20 minutes in the class, you know, um, then you can just ask your teacher, like, can I please get maybe like 10 minutes or five minutes for you to just explain this to me again, because it's just not getting in, like it's going in one ear and going out the other ear. And I'm telling you, your teacher will be understanding because that's what they paid for. Okay, let's be honest. That's what they paid for. They have to make sure that every learner understands the work. So if you need more time to understand, then you need to just ask for it, you know. And I know that there are some schools that will maybe ask, that will have, um, what is this, like after, after care school or like... Uh, extra classes yes that's the word extra classes um to help you out so that you can actually understand the work if you haven't been understanding it you know or maybe you may even need a tutor okay don't be ashamed that you are going for tutoring lessons and the rest of your class is not getting tutoring lessons like there's nothing embarrassing about that in fact you should be proud that you're getting um tutoring lessons because it means that you are invested in your academics you are invested in getting that distinction okay and don't be afraid to ask for help okay whether that's with your fellow classmates but of course be cautious this one be cautious don't just ask everybody for help 
ask the students that you know that they normally understand these sort of topics like you know that like that guy that's sitting there in the front he's great at physics he gets distinctions every single year right i can ask him for help because he normally um understands this work you feel me if you're more comfortable with asking a student than maybe a teacher you know but please guys ask for help as much as possible because no one is perfect no one is going to be good at every single subject and i'm telling you there's going to be a student that's going to come to you that's going to be asking for help in a topic that you are good at you know maybe you good at afrikaans and the next student is good at mathematics and you guys are helping each other out you feel me and that is like a moral of life guys just help each other out and don't be afraid to actually be the one that's asking for the help now i really hope those tips are gonna help you out but if you're still struggling with procrastination then best believe the tips i've mentioned are not gonna help you out you feel me because if you're still procrastinating then what's the point of setting goals what's the point of being organized you feel me so if you need help with procrastination click on this video right over here and i'll see you guys in that very video peace